We all know that over the last couple of years, Christchurch has suffered a series of devastating earthquakes and we have had to do a lot of deconstruction. Will Christchurch become a prosperous and vital city again? Of course it will, unless we have another disaster. Why would we put the future of our city at risk? Because we're actually planning to do it. The land use recovery plan has gone out for consultation. That consultation is closed. It will probably be enacted. What's the problem with it? It's a pretty big document and it's full of lots of nice things, lots of aspirational things that we want to do. But the only thing it really does is release 42,000 sections of ex-urban development. That's the only thing it really does. And that's the thing that we can't afford to have as a long-term plan. Ex-urban sprawl means building low-density housing outside the urban boundary. Why is giving a lot of people nice houses in nice places a threat to the future of our city? The services that people need are expensive to deliver that far from the city. Exurban sprawl also pulls apart the fabric of our city. We want our central city back. We want a place where we can all go to enjoy the rugby game, to enjoy a dinner, to enjoy all sorts of things that a city of this size has to offer. We are at very high risk of not getting that central city back if we sprawl across the plains. And also, people are gonna spend a lot of money for those houses, they're not gonna be cheap, and over the next 10 to 20 years, they're gonna become ghost towns. Why is that gonna happen? That's actually my research area, and I've been studying it for more than 30 years. That is the supply of oil. Do you remember that over the last 10 years, the price of oil has increased fivefold? That's a lot. What if it goes up another fivefold? There's no reason why it won't. Oil supply is finite. The world oil supply has already peaked and it has plateaued. And over the next couple of years, it will begin to decline. If we put houses 20 to 30 kilometers away from anything, those people will have no choice but to pay higher and higher and higher transportation bills. The value of a property in the market is only equal to what one person is willing to pay for it. All you need is a slight change of opinion of where people want to live. Every city that cannot adapt to using less oil every year will have an economic downturn that will not be able to recover from. The city of Christchurch right now does have the opportunity to develop in the way that the people said they wanted. We have the opportunity to develop walkable neighborhoods where we can all get to a lot of businesses and a lot of activities. The land use recovery plan for the city of Christchurch rebuild is a threat to our future prosperity. We don't have to do it. We can get to work building the city that we want. We will have to work together and we will have to use new ideas and a lot of new methods, but we can do it. Let's not pull our city apart. Let's not empty out our core. Let's get to work building the city we want.